What's up, y'all? Name me Baller One. Back this time with a review of Respect is Iron. Okay. I know I'm late in seeing the pay per view, but uh, I just got it like Friday night. But this is my review of it. See, I didn't want to watch it on the internet. You know, I mean, I wanted to give Ring of Honor my $15 because, you know, they're good promotion. But anyway, uh, the show started with BJ Whitman. He was out there. You know, he got the crowd hyped or whatever, and he was like, I'll fight anybody, anybody that comes out there. And lo and behold, Takeshi Morishima comes out there, and, you know, and then he hands the referee the belt, and the referee looks at him like, are you sure? And then all of a sudden, we have an impromptu title match. Okay, this match was a squash match. But for what it was, a squash match, it was the best squash match I've ever seen, ever, because... I mean, all the guys hit like them, you know, their main spots. BJ hit the uh, exploder. He didn't hit the wrist, cl- wrist clutch one, but he hit the exploder. Uh, Takeshi Morishima hit uh, his signature lariats and all that. And um, it, was, it was it was just great. Um, yeah, it was great. Uh, I get that match like, I say two and a half just because it was a squash match, but it was, it was a good squash match. Okay, then after that, you had the second best match of the night. Uh, well, first you had, like, a promo. It was a Brent Albright promo. I guess the next pay-per-view is going to have Brent Albright in a match, which I'm pretty excited about because I like him. Uh, then you had the second best match of the night, you know, Michi Marfuji against Rocky Romero. That match was, yeah, that match was really, really good. Like, it just had, like... You know, uh, Marfuji's crazy coast to coast drop kick, and uh, what's the name? Uh, Rocky Romero with his martial arts, his arm bar variations, and it, it was great. I get that match. Definitely four stars. It was, it was a really good match. Um, and then after that, it was a promo with Sarah Del Rey, and uh, yeah, she was part of, um, help me out, uh, what's the name? Um, I can't remember the guy's name right now, even though, you know, I see him all the time. You know, he has Chris Hero. I can't remember his name. Fuck. But yeah, um, she came out there. She's part of his group now, whatever. Yada, yada, yada. And then, uh, then we had uh, the best match of the night. The Briscoes against Claudio Castagnoli and Mike, Matt Seidel. Uh, yeah, Matt Seidel. There you go. Um, this match... Had too many spots to the car, you know what I mean? Like, and it wasn't even just a spot fest. It was just like it, it progressed into that. Like it started, you know, as just a very technical match, hard hitting, it was stiff at first, and then it got you know crazy. Like as it progressed, and then the ending was just so chaotic, but it worked so well. Like it was everything you wanted in a match. I'm so tempted to give it five stars, but I don't know if it was perfect. So I'd say. Four and three fourths. It's almost five stars, but it's not. It wasn't perfect. You know what I mean? It was awesome, but it wasn't perfect. To me, so far this year, it was the match of the year. Like, am I, boy, well, either that or McGinnis versus Morishima and Fighting Spirit. But it, it was one of, it was one of, um, then after that, probably the weakest match I is so strong. Me and I was watching it with my brother. And like, if I went in the kitchen, I started cooking. That match was just boring. It wasn't bad. It was just boring. I mean, I didn't even watch the whole thing. I'm not even going to, like, score it because I couldn't get into it. It was just, match was boring. But, um, yeah. It, it was basically, the, it was the bathroom match of the, of the night, pretty much. So, um, uh, after that, uh, it was another pro Adam Pierce, like he cut like this, this hard promo. It was like it was like one of Ravens promos from back in the day. That shit was gangster. Like he just, PJ Whitmer will always as the man that the first match in all pay per view. Wow, that's that's nuts. And after that, it was the main event. To, and, uh, oh, yeah, the Briscoes, uh, Kevin Steele, um, El Generico had like this fight that be like was just like be a them fight like all around. Generico came out there from the always locker room segment that. Oh, yeah, the main event. It was uh, Kenta and Nigel McGinnis against Brian Danielson. Th- with those four names, you know you're going to get a great match. And that's what it was, a great match. Definitely four and a half stars. It was great. It was, well, no, 
It was yeah. I guess that was the second best match of the night. It was second, in my opinion. That was the second best match of the night. It was it was it was great, man. You had uh Brian Danielson winning with the cow mutilation, but like it, the things that led up to it, you know, McGinnis with all his clothes lines. He had the Tower of London backdrop drivers and. Yeah, Morishima with the backdrop drivers, and he had a uh, Kenta with his uh, like his running shining wizard looking thing, and it was it was amazing. And he hit his uh, his Falcon Arrow off the top. It was it was a great match. Definitely four and a half stars. Best pay per view of the year. I think anybody with eyes can see that was the best pay per view of the year, even though it was only two hours. I mean. You had three matches of, like, more than, like, four-star plus, you know what I mean? Like, you had the Mar Fuji match, and then you had the uh, Briscoe's match, and then you had the, uh, the Morishima, Brian Davidson, Kenta, and all the match. I mean, three matches on a card that, that were, like, more than four stars. No other pay-per-view this year, no other pay-per-view in a long time has had a card like that. You know, like, the last one I can think of was... Maybe Bound for Glory last year. Maybe, uh, you know, I mean, probably Bound for Glory. Last, like, Bound for Glory, TNA Bound for Glory last year had uh, the um, Monsters Ball 3, which I gave four stars. Uh, Eight Mile Street Fight, four, four stars, you know what I mean? And it had the X Division title match, I gave four and a half stars, you know? So, I mean, so what you, what you gonna do, you know? Anybody that likes wrestling should just check out this pay per view. Even if you like it a little bit, just check it out because it was it was a lot of fun and it was great for smart fans. You know, smart fans liked it and casual fans liked it. So if anybody you know even likes it a little bit, you ought to yourself to check it out. My opinion, best pay per view of the year. A lot of people say it was the best pay per view of the year. I mean, I'll let you be the judge. You the viewer. I'll let you be the judge. But anyway. I'm out. I'll probably be back a little later with something else. I don't know. But anyway, I'm out.